The coronavirus outbreak was first detected in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. It is being categorized as a zoonotic disease, meaning it jumps from animals to humans. Scientists have linked the cause of coronavirus to the consumption of wildlife such as bats and snakes. Reports from China are that approximately 100 persons have died as a result of the virus and thousands more have fallen ill. In the past few days, the novel virus has also been discovered in the US after a patient began exhibiting flu-like symptoms. Since then, several suspected cases have popped up across other countries namely Colombia and Mexico. The virus can complicate any situation in a patient that might have a chronic disease. It's a common flu symptoms, dry cough, fever, um, body aches. Um, that's what's being documented, of course, as more information becomes available. That it might be other, other symptoms. Um, that's one. Two, um, when we review the mortality situation, we found out that most of the patients that had died had other chronic diseases, diabetes, hypertension, and it seemed to be older patients that were uh, dying. I think the average of those when we reviewed data last week was 65. The Ministry of Health in Belize has activated its national surveillance team to monitor the coronavirus outbreak, and that led to the detection of a suspected case on the island of Kikokar. A tourist from Beijing, China, arrived in the country on January 27th and exhibited flu-like symptoms. Officials from the Chinese Association, the village council supported by police, and health personnel were activated. We carried out a full investigation on this case. The patient is a young man visiting from Beijing, China. He arrived from Philip Coulson International Airport and went straight to Kikakar. Now, the rumors you know, were out there that this patient had signs and symptoms of coronavirus. So immediately, you know, we launched an investigation and the patient was examined, um, had a physical examination by our medical officer there, Dr. Salim, and it was determined that the patient is not ill. The patient does not have fever, cough, there are no signs of respiratory illness. According to regional health manager Melinda Guerra, the visitor had been screened before leaving China upon transiting the U.S. and at the Philip Goldson International Airport in Belize. The Ministry of Health has been monitoring all entry points across the country and have been working with airport officials to strengthen surveillance without travelers feeling as though they are being discriminated. We have our public health inspectors on a day-to-day -day basis there at the airport. And for right now, we have the immigration farm that we are using, where in that farm it has the nationality of the person, the countries the person has visited, and actually the, the point of origin from where the person is actually coming. So we screen the patients. Uh, we, have, we are doing, an, um, we keep our officers up to date as to the countries that are having cases, presenting cases of coronavirus, so we are aware. In the event that a person presents symptoms similar to that of the coronavirus, how prepared is the local health system? In the event, you know, if we would have any case coming from Wuhan, China, or any high-risk place in China, then we would make sure, of course, we would have to identify that patient at the airport, and then we would um, ensure that we keep in contact, public health authority would keep in contact with that patient for the first 14 days from the time he left China to, you know, to when, to those 14 days. Why 14 days? Because usually influenza would take between three to five days and up to 14 days to show signs and symptoms. The patient would be taken to a medical facility for isolation. There is strict monitoring and surveillance underway by public health officers. The Ministry of Health stresses that proper respiratory hygiene and the basic infection control practices like washing of hands are simple things that can prevent the spreading of the virus. What we are encouraging our community and our visitors you know, to practice hand washing, wash your hands for 20 minutes with soap, very important. Um, avoid people who are coughing, sneezing, so you try to you know, avoid those persons and those persons who are actually sick with any kind of influenza-like illness fever, cough, cold, you know, try to stay at home. Go to your doctor, you know, um, get your treatment, because remember right now we are still in the season for influenza. So we're having normal influenza, 
It's just that we are having this you know, um, new virus circulating, but the cough and cold is still around, so you need to get your treatment. The Caribbean Public Health Authority, CARFA, says that at this time, the risk of transmission to the Caribbean is low based on what is known about the virus. Dwayne Moody for News 5.